everyone, so today I'm doing this gorgeous makeup tutorial. This is actually one of my favorite looks for fall. I think it's so beautiful and I love the color combination. It's combining darker toned colors and some metallics and I think those just go together so well. And not only are metallics super fun to work with, but they're actually one of the biggest fall beauty trends. So you can look fierce, but also follow a beauty trend at the same time. So I hope that you all enjoy this video and if you'd like to see how to recreate this look on yourself, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off this look by priming my eyelids and I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this and apply it all over my lid. And then taking my ring finger, I'm going to blend this out all the way from my lid up to my brow bone. Now I'm taking my Illamasqua Liquid Metal in Enrapture and it's just a beautiful metallic coppery bronze color and I'm going to apply this using a 242 brush. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that and apply it all over my lid. Now moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm taking my e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color Quad in Day to Night and the first shadow I'm using is this really beautiful taupe color. So I'm going to apply this using a 239. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that and tap off the excess and I'm going to apply this on my lid. And you can see by adding that eyeshadow on top of the liquid metal by Illamasqua, it makes the color a lot more vibrant and metallic, which is what we're going for. So it just looks so, so pretty like that. Okay, so the second color I'm taking is this purple right here. It's so pretty. And I'm going to apply this using a 226. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that, tap off the excess and apply this to my crease. Once that crease color is applied, I'm taking my Sigma E50 eyeshadow brush and I'm going into the lightest color in this palette, which is this white shade right here. And I'm getting a little bit of that, tapping off the excess, and I'm going to apply this right under my brows. All right, now I'm taking my Sigma E05 brush and I'm going back into that purple color I used earlier. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush and apply it to my lower lash line. And this is just going to add a little bit more depth to the look and help tie the entire look together. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadow. Now we'll move on to the eyeliner. So I'm taking my MAC Eye Coal in Smolder and I'm going to apply this to my waterline and my tight line. And I absolutely love the black eyeliner with this look. I think it just looks so pretty. So now we'll move on to mascara. I'm going to first off curl my eyelashes, of course. And for mascara today, I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. So I'm just going to apply one coat of this to my upper and lower lashes. Okay, so that is it for the eyes. I think this look is so beautiful, especially for fall. I just love the way it turned out. So now we'll move on to the cheeks. I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm taking my NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm applying this using a Sigma F10 brush. So I'll just get a little bit of this and apply this to my cheeks. Now I'm finishing this look off with the lips. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my MAC lipstick in Myth and this is just a very true nude color. So I'll go ahead and apply that to my lips. And I'm actually not a huge fan of this lipstick on its own so I'm going to add a gloss on top and I'm taking my YSL Golden Gloss in number 39. So I'll go ahead and apply that to my lips. Okay, so here's the completed look. I really hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and you found it helpful, of course. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what other makeup looks you'd like to see, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.